What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, I am officially done and up to date on my V-Pin. So before I get criticized in the comment section below, yes, V-Pin especially, it is never 100% complete. Every day things get updated, there's some new artwork, some new ROM, some new tables, some new pup packs that come out. So in all honesty, it is never 100% said and done. But right now, I am 100% up to date on my V-Pin. Today's March 13th, 2021. If you take a look back at my videos, I basically made the promo video on my birthday, which was August 30th. So if you think about it from August 30th till now, I've been basically working pretty hard to get these, this V-Pen completed. Now, I don't want to say that to scare people, but in all honesty, there's a lot of work when it comes to V-Pen, especially pinup popper system and media. There is a lot of media to go through, download, and basically assign. So just keep that in mind. Basically, in this video, I'm going to be talking about pros and cons. I'll go over my build, um, things I wish I did, things I wish I didn't do, uh, and basically overviews on a couple of emulators and all that. Now, the big thing I don't want to scare people is that basically, if you take a look from August till now, you'd be like, oh man, that's a long process. You're talking six, seven months. What happened, Vic? Uh, basically, again, when I first made my, my video, I, I basically just wanted Simpsons Pinball Party. Uh, playing with it for like a month, but during that month, I was still adding tables and such. So I basically worked on it every other night for about two or three hours a night. Um, it's just kind of looking at a screen for more than like two hours. It really, it really, you know, hits your eyes because again, going through pinup system and going through all the media, you're reading like the fine text and all that. Um, so there is a lot of work when it comes to V pins. Now you could take a look at my video back. You'll see basically the basic details on it, but I'll go through it real quick with you. On this one, I do have a 50 inch Samsung 7 series 4K play field. I have a 32 inch ViewSonic 1080p back glass, and I have a Spectre 22 inch 1080p apron and slash DMD. As far as the toys on this, I got the 10 solenoids, I have strobes, I have the RGB flashes, which I use basically automotive strobes, so my RGB flashes are not exactly how they should be but I love what I did with it. Very easy, very simple. I do have the analog plunger. I do have the beacons. I do have the underglow being connected and controlled via LED whiz, um, not an LED blinky, which I kept saying in my video, so excuse that. I do have also the surround sound feedback on this, so there are four exciters, Dayton audios. There's two amps in the back of the back box that control basically the volume on my surround sound feedback. As far as PC specs, MSI motherboard, I'm running an i5, so Intel i5, not overclocked, I could overclock, but I'll probably test the waters on that later on. 16 gigs of RAM, and I'm using a 2070 graphics card on this. Uh, as far as storage on this, M.2 SSD, 500 gigs. Right now, completed, uh, I only used about 350 gigs on my M.2. I have about 150 gigs open. So some people said, hey Vic, what do you think you need as far as computer specs and how much storage you need? The better, the more the better obviously, but I'm running a 500 gig. I probably should have done a one terabyte just to be safe, but so far I'm all right. As far as software and emulators on this, again, I am running the pinup popper system. Emulators I do have is the VPX, Visual Pinball X. I do have Future Pinball, which I'll discuss. Uh, I do have Pinball FX2, Pinball FX3, and Zachariah Pinball. I'm waiting for my cabinet codes for the Black Flaggers and another uh, Pro Pinball that I'm waiting for. But as of right now, I have those emulators in my build. So now real quick, I want to give a big shout out to B Kong, Kong's a Russ. I was I was given the privilege basically to talk about my V-Pin on his live stream that he does. Um, that was about two weeks ago. Usually his streams are about an hour long. We went to almost two hours. Um, so again, shout out to B-Kong on that. Basically, we discussed V-Pin because he has the arcade one-up one and he wanted to compare it to kind of a DIY custom build like mine. Um, there are other builders on YouTube. There are other people that have V-Pins that are much better than mine. I'm not gonna say mine is the top, but you do have other YouTubers that do have amazing tables. 
You got Terry Red, you got Raston 350 or Raston 360. Um, other people that I'm, I'm drawing a blank on right now, there's also like Pinball For Me. Um, they make really good streams and they basically show off their tables very well. I'm personally missing a couple of toys. I didn't do like the LED, um, adjustable LEDs for the sides. I don't have the LED matrix. Again, my first V-pin, I wanted to keep it simple, but also amazing. Um, me personally though, when you do start adding the LEDs and the matrices, my personal opinion, it's too much flashiness, it's too much LEDs. Um, I personally love how mine came out, so it's not distracting when you're playing the game. That, again, is my personal opinion. Maybe I'll look into the LED addressables later on, but for right now, I'm totally enjoying my pin. I love everything about what I did with my pin. Now again, the big thing to keep in mind about my V pin is that I cut the wood myself. I duplicated a Bally's or a Williams wide body uh, cabinet. So the dimensions on this is 98% exactly to the T compared to a Williams or a Bally wide body. So excuse me, I should know that one exactly. Basically, if you Google Williams wide body, somebody has dimensions, it's in millimeters, and the picture is so small you have to like zoom in. So if you do a search for that, you'll know which one it is. So again, it's either a Williams or a Bally wide body. I don't remember exactly. The only big difference on mine that's different from a real Bally or Williams wide body is my width. Um, everything else, the length on this, the back box on this a little bit too is a little bit different, but the width is about four inches wider than your standard Williams wide body because I did a 50 inch screen. As far as the backlash DMD, you can see the side panels here. I copied the same exact kind of dimensions. It's 10 inches on the bottom, seven inches on the top. And basically I just did the height to accommodate edge to edge my backlash and my DMD. So maybe my back box is a little bit taller, um, but honestly it's, it's, it's not that bad. My biggest thing I did want to make sure is that it had to look proportional. I didn't want a 50 inch TV and then like the back box was smaller. As you can see, it overhangs perfectly. Again, I, I don't want to showboat it too much, but I love how my V-Pin came out. I don't want to be all over on this video, but you know, we'll talk about a couple of things, pros and cons and all that. But before anything, let's just talk about V-Pin in general. No, you cannot copy somebody's drive. This gets so in depth. Uh, I'm going to be brutally honest. I'll tell you exactly what I did. Um, somebody posted, I'm not going to name his name because honestly it was, it, was, it was a waste of my time. Somebody does have a 190 gigabyte V-pin drive downloadable somewhere on YouTube. I downloaded it and in all brutal honesty, it was pure trash. The only thing I got out of that was the files for the forbidden table. That is it. If you don't know what I mean by forbidden table, you gotta do some research, really dig into VPIN. I feel like if you understand what the forbidden table is, you've done enough research to understand VPIN. That was the only advantage to getting this guy's 193 gigabyte drive. No, I didn't pay him for it. He basically put it up online. It was kind of like a, a uTorrent link. It was brutal. It was a waste of my time. Basically, all of the VPX files he had were old. Cause you gotta remember again, like I said, people update the tables. People come with newer artwork and such. The biggest thing right now, what I learned is that there are people making 4K display VPX tables. Normally it was 1080p, now they're bumping up to 4K. So for example, Tales of the Arabian Nights, the Flintstones, those are 4K tables. You could literally download the 4K file of it. This guy had like version one, it like old. It was brutal. I played one and I was like, why does it look so pixelated? I basically decided, I said, you know what? Why am I wasting my time? I am junking this. Again, his thing had everything, pinup system files. It was pure trash. So my only big suggestion to you is you have to prepare yourself to work from the ground up. You, you have to. What I mean by that, I'm right now clocked in at about 1,060 tables. I'll go through it, trust me, I'll go through it. So that is a lot of tables, but VPX to me is the most amazing emulator out. There is Future Pinball. I don't like Future Pinball. To me, it was a huge waste of time. They only have maybe five or six tables that are worth downloading for Future Pinball, which I'll go over. 
But VPX to me was like the best of the best. And not to mention on the forums, people are really working a lot on VPX tables. So if you are gonna start the game as far as VPN, go to VPX. Don't look at VP8, don't look at VP9. It is a waste of time. This guy's drive did have VP8 and VP9. I didn't even bother, it, it, it was a waste. Don't even waste your time with it. Go directly into VPX. Now, the big thing I mentioned about VPX is that VPX, again, the, the physics and everything on it to me is amazing. It is, I, I love everything about it. I'm 100% I'm all day VPX. When I was building my VPIN, again, I started out with one table and that was the Simpsons Pinball Party. I had so much fun with it, I still play that table to this day. So, basically, if you take a look at my videos, I suggested stick with one table. And then from there, once you understand how everything works, then you could slowly add tables. The biggest thing I didn't want on my VPIN, I didn't want tables, and people are gonna flag me for this, but I didn't want the really old school tables that just have like the dings and the dongs and the bells. Um, I aim for tables like this where it's objective-based gameplay. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm personally not a fan of bells and the dings and the dongs. Yes, that is what built pinball um i didn't want it in my vpin it to me it, those are games that i'm never gonna play so when i started vpx again from the ground up i had one table on my drive and that was the simpsons pinball party then i went to a couple of forums v pinball is probably the most updated one and i literally sat and i downloaded 350 tables and again when i was doing my pin i would download one table I would play it, I would test it, make sure it works, and basically after about 15 minutes of playing it without any flaws, I then basically officially put it into my pinup system front end. So yes, I sat and downloaded each individual VPX table. There are a lot of tables, but again, keep in mind, I'm right now at about, I would say, 350 VPX tables. Those are strictly objective-based gameplay. No bells, no dings, not like the old school stuff. I, I didn't like it. Basically, I don't have any table prior to 1983. When you look at the forums, you're gonna see that they do write the years and stuff. I have nothing as far as VPX below before 1983 because those are all the bells and the dings. Again, I'm gonna get flagged for it, but I don't care, this is my pin. I don't find those games fun. It's just basically you hitting the marble to get points. There are a couple of games that are objective based, but it's not like this, like the X-Files, the Simpsons, the Flintstones, there's a lot of objectives to it. So again, as far as my VPX, I strictly did objective based games. So VPX, as far as emulator wise, is a must. That is number one. That right there is the number one playlist on my pinup system. That's where I'm always at, okay? FX3 is definitely a must. It's, it's easy to set up. It's awesome. It's definitely a lot of fun with the little ones and the kids. FX3 also for an adult. It's, it's fun. It's not really like how people play pinball, but we got to give them kudos for basically bringing pinball back with some pretty fun gameplay. So FX3 is a must. People questioned me and said, Vic, why do you have FX2? Tables from FX2 went to FX3. That is true, but not all tables went to FX3. FX2 on my game wheel has 10 tables that are not in FX3. The main tables, South Park, uh, South Park Butters. So there's two South Park tables that are not in FX3. Um, B Kong mentioned Plants vs. Zombies. And they have a couple of like soccer league tables, which I don't really play, but I have it now. So I do have Pimble FX2 and Pimble FX3. So those are like my top three. Um, Zachariah Pinball, I got, I'm not big on it, it's alright, it's, it's just an executable program, so I had it, I was like, you know what, let's just put it. So Zachariah Pinball, I do have it, but I'm probably rarely going to play that. The last emulator on this that I personally, it, it, I don't care for it, and I don't like it, is Future Pinball. People are going to flag, I don't care. Future Pinball to me is just, I don't like it. Compared to VPX, I, it's, it's not there. It's, I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan. It's, I'm not a fan. That's, that's all I could say. <laughs> Quick.
Granted though, honestly, there are a couple of tables which shout out to Terry Red, we got Nail Buster, there's a lot of people that are in the VPIN community. But basically with Future Pinball, they have tables called pin event tables. VPX has pin up or I should say pup packs. Basically the guys are creating pup packs for Future Pinball tables which are pin event tables. Um, I do have the pin event tables, they're cool. I, they do have a couple of cool features, like they have like motion on the play field, which is cool. Um, the only table that I, I'm so far enjoying, but it's not 100% as far as on my specific build, is Deadpool. I am hoping Deadpool makes an appearance to VPX, because that's going to be an amazing table. Deadpool is the only real reason I downloaded Future Pinball, and then I went on to get the pin event stuff. As far as on my specific future pinball build, I do have about 500 tables on future pinball. Now you're saying, Vic, what the hell? How? That's where I took this guy's drive that he put and I basically just put the future pinball tables from his drive onto mine. No, I'm not proud of it. The only real reason I did that was because his future pinball build had the old before 1983 bells and dings table. So I said, you know what? Instead of me sitting and downloading like I did with VPX, I just took his files from uh, Future Pinball and then I put it in. Granted though, with his files, he does have a couple of duplicates, especially when it came to like the Star Wars tables and the um, um, Iron Man. He had like the ultimate, the ultimate pro. So in all brutal honesty, I will never touch Future Pinball on my pin. Yes, I have it. There is a lot of like user created tables, which I'm personally not a fan of. Um, you know, I do give kudos to people that are making these tables, but I don't find them fun. I don't even look at them. So to me, Future Pinball is, it has a lot of tables, 500 tables. Whoa, Vic, you have 500 tables, that's awesome. I'll never play those tables besides the eight or nine pin event tables and Deadpool. And there's one which is Minions, which is kind of fun. <laughs> the Minions table is a user created table, which is cool, it's fun, but I have basically, it, within my future pinball playlist, I have a pin event playlist inside of that, and then basically I'm using that playlist as my main tables that I would play. I'll load up Deadpool later on in the video and I'll show you exactly why it doesn't work for my specific build, um, Deadpool has an awesome DMD, it's an actual video DMD, it's just for me to get that DMD big on this screen, I would have to move Windows, my display settings in Windows, I'm not touching that. It's like if you touch that, you might fuck up the whole system, so I'm not doing that. So now again, in all honesty, now my VPIN does have the tables with the dings and the bells and all that, but all that is within Future Pinball. I have not tested all those tables. I basically imported it into the playlist, and then this is the worst part. Again, you have to download the media for all of this. I sat and downloaded just the backlash, the playfield, and the sound. Um, that takes a lot of time. Now real quick, let's talk about pinup system. Pinup system, this is, actually, this is actually a perfect example of my future pinball um, playlist. Playfield, backlash, nothing else. I didn't bother with the DMD, I didn't bother at all. It's kind of weird how pinup system, for some reason, I do have this playlist for future pinball set to ugly, which means don't show in a track mode. But for some reason, I'm still trying to figure out why it still shows my attract mode. That's like the only little hiccup I'm experiencing with my pinup system. Um, I wish it didn't have this in my attract mode, but it's all right. That's why honestly I sat down and downloaded the media for it because it was just future pinball, future pinball, future pinball on the play field. And I, I didn't want that. I wanted a nice attract mode. So I did sit and download the media for, I would say about 80% of future pinball. Now real quick, let's talk about pinup system. As far as the front end, front end, just like our hyperspin and our rocket launcher, this is running pinup system. It basically keeps all of our games into one executable. You can navigate and stuff. Pinup system is the most current thing and it is honestly the most amazing um, front end. I have not personally experienced Pinball X and Pinball Y. I haven't touched that. It's just, this is the current, I went current pinup popper system.
So pinup popper system is not that difficult. The biggest thing though is that again, I do have three screens. So pinup system, basically when you do get into assigning DMD and apron and back glass, they have a whole setup on how to do it and you could configure the exact dimensions and stuff on it. So pinup system is awesome. You make your playlist. The cool thing within it is that it does have a media downloader uh, and I'll bring you in closer and I'll talk about it. That's where honestly a lot of my time was being consumed was sitting here and downloading the media for every table. I didn't want tables that, I wanted it to be complete. As you can see while I'm talking in this video, we're in a track mode right now. I do have a track mode set to seven seconds, so it is going as we go. Um, as you can see, most of them that I'm, I'm hitting, there's definitely a play field, there's definitely a back glass. Going back to what I said about future pinball, I didn't waste my time downloading the DMD and like the extra apron video for future pinball. VPX, I did download everything. Also FX3, I did download everything. So as you see while it's going through, I do have the audio low, but every table does have audio. So when you do get into pinup system, and again, people don't realize this, I didn't know it, you're gonna spend a lot of time because this is your front end, you want it to look good, you're gonna be spending a lot of time downloading media. Shout out to the guys that are making the media, it's awesome, we all love it. There is a lot of media to look through because some people have different themes going on and not to mention like play field. There's the HD 1080p play field and then the 4K play field. So all of my files are running the 4K media as far as the play field. Again, with pinup system, if you really look carefully, there is two, four, there's six files of media, really seven, that I download for each table. So I basically calculated it takes about three minutes to download a complete media set for one table. You have your play field, you have your backlogs, you have your DMD, and then they do have the apron, which some people have either a nice decorative video as you can see, and again, I do have a apron, full apron DMD screen. I need that media. You do have the table music, the table sound. You do have also a loading video. Some tables do have loading videos, so if I launch a table, it does kind of a cool loading effect screen, which is cool. I did want it. Uh, and the last thing is within, while you're playing the game, the table, I do have full apron um, back artwork. Um, shout out to Andrew Walsh for that, really cool guy. He's making amazing stuff. Basically, I have my DMD in the middle of the screen and then he has a very decorative full screen kind of back artwork. So all of my VPX tables have back artwork. Future Pinball, I didn't deal with it only because I'm still working on future DMD. Uh, I'm not even dealing with future Pinball. There's some kinks to it, but as far as VPX, they all have the back glass, um, the full apron background going. So there is a lot of media. There's a lot of stuff going on. So again, be prepared to sit and download, download, download. What's cool is like B-Kong asked me, he's like, Vic, be honest, do you spend a lot more time searching for games than playing? No. I'll be honest, every week I, I have a random button. I hit the random button and then I'll play that table for a week. Um, today, this week, I was playing Roller Coaster Tycoon, the pinball game. At first, I was like, oh, I'm not a fan of this, but it gets addicting. When it comes to V-Pin, you have to kind of put in your mindset, like, this is all I got, we gotta play it. This is an example of one table that I guess I don't have the all artwork. So as you can see, there are defaults. So this is a VPX table. I have my personal custom apron that I made and then the play field. This is probably um, pizza time or the SpongeBob. I think that was SpongeBob. Again, brand new table that came out. I don't have the media for it yet, but I'll work on it. So again, just a lot of time really spent on media. That's why again, stay far away. There's no such thing as drives. Again, I had this guy's drive and it was a waste of my time. It took like three days to download. Um, it just wasn't worth it. So stay far away from drives. Definitely want to build from the ground up. People are looking at like their own personal pins. Right now, the biggest thing I think was like Twilight Zone is a big hit. Um, me personally, I'm gonna make another table. Uh, I'm gonna probably do a South Park themed table or somebody recommended Jurassic Park. 
So like for example, if I was gonna start over, if I was getting into the V-pin game, just like what I did with Simpsons, I'm gonna make a South Park table, I'm gonna start and focus on a South Park table. And again, I do highly suggest VPX. Uh, so that's how I would start. I would download VPX, I would download the South Park table, and then from there, work on all the Doffling stuff and all that. Now the big thing about pinup system that everybody's converting to is the pup packs. Um, again, shout out to the guys that are building these things and making these things. I, I seen a video last week, um, very popular YouTuber. I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the name, I'm sorry. Um, but he just relieved, uh, he just revealed the Simpsons Pinball Party Pup Pack. So I was like, oh, I'm waiting for that to come out because that's like, that's all me. I have to make a video on that when it comes out. But the biggest thing is these pup packs. So B Con was like, Vic, what's a pup pack? Basically, they're kind of overlays that they added to the original gameplay. So they do have a lot of backlash videos. You might maybe drain a ball and a video will come up from let's say a movie or something like that. It adds to the experience. It 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 it's pretty cool. It's a definitely a cool feature. But me personally, I'm not a fan of the pup pack tables. Um I feel like they're too distracting. Some are too loud. Yes, you could adjust the volume. I just feel like there's too much going on. When I'm playing my pin, I'm so focused here, I'm not really looking too much at the back glass, and there's a lot of videos that go on, also within like the apron and stuff. It's fun to have. The big thing to understand though with my table, because somebody asked me, Vic, do you have any duplicates? My future pinball, there's like duplicates, because again, I didn't really care. I just transferred the files. As far as VPX, I don't have any duplicates except pay, uh, pup pack tables. Any table that had a pup pack, I have the pup pack table, and then I did VP alias to copy that table and remove the pup pack. So I basically have, for example, Flintstones. There's a pup pack Flintstones and a no pup Flintstones. Me personally, I'm always playing the no pup Flintstones. If I have family over to show off the table, I'll run the pup pack Flintstones. So there aren't many duplicates, but people I do suggest there are videos on VP alias. Pretty easy to set up, it's a little confusing, but once you get the first table down, it's not too bad. You will understand how to work VP alias. So again, pup pack tables are awesome. I do feel honestly, it is a very big GPU CPU eater. That's my personal opinion, which goes now into what I wish I did. Uh, I wish I did an i7. I'm the type I'd rather go big. Um, I wish I did an i7 instead of an i5. Will it affect the performance? People say no, it doesn't make a difference. But I just have a mental thing where if I went i7, it would have been insane. Um, my other big downside I did was I did a cheap MSI motherboard. Um, I don't remember the exact number I did. I won't be doing cheap ever again. I'm very big on MSI. I love my MSI boards. I would definitely get what I normally do in my bar tops and my arcade builds, which is the Z390 with Wi-Fi. Um, I do have a Wi-Fi dongle. On this, for some reason, this motherboard, after like five minutes, the Wi-Fi will stop, it won't work, and then like 30 seconds later, it will come back to life. So, I do wish I went with a better MSI motherboard. Uh, other than that, 2070 uh, graphics card, I did have originally a 2060. I swapped it out with a 2070. Not much difference, honestly, as far as that. Big reason I have a 2070 is that I wanted a 4K display, and I wanted three HDMIs, or I should say three display, uh, displays out. This is running one HDMI out, and then two display ports, two HDMI. I think I have that on one. I think my Spectre. Yeah, my Spectre didn't have display, so I had to do an HDMI to, to display port. But, same thing with my ViewSonic. I needed a display port, a HDMI to display port. Um, as far as things I wish I did, but I still could do, so it's not really, I'm, I'm lucked out. Uh, I didn't get the shaker motor on this. Um, it definitely will be something that I will purchase for the next V-Pin. Only because now I could, un I understand how wiring works, so I can make it much cleaner. So I'm gonna probably aim to do a shaker motor, maybe a knocker, um, the replay knocker on it. But I think honestly, you could m most likely just map it out to the rear um, solenoid. Um, 
I really have no regrets as far as the actual build itself. I used real pinball legs, leaf switches for the buttons is a big deal. I did a real analog plunger that's dedicated to the um, these KLZ board. Um, so the nudge is also cool. Somebody suggested I should have done a tilt bob, like the real tilt plunger bob. Maybe for the next build I'll do that. But again, as of right now, totally happy. The only last thing I probably have to do is just get speaker grills, four inch speaker grills, and I would call it. This is done. I would definitely duplicate this 100% again. Again, me personally, I'm not a fan of matrixes. I'm not a fan of the LED matrixes. Um, that's just my personal opinion. If you have them, cool. I hope you enjoy them. I just don't want too much distraction. Definitely, I do like the um, adjustable LEDs for the side rails because I feel like when you do launch the plunger, it kind of gives that animation. I think that's cool. I might look into that next. Now, the big question somebody asked me said, Vic, how much did you pay? How much, how much, how much? We were in B Kong's stream and towards the end, he asked me it in the beginning of the stream and I totally forgot to answer it. Um, real quick, this is an amazing pin event table, future pinball. Retro Flare is a definitely cool table. Um, so <laughs> I'm doing it again. Uh, so he asked me, how much did you spend? Again, I granted, I cut the wood myself. Um, and I'm honestly looking into buying a CNC machine because I do have a couple of ideas as far as V-Pin. Um, I'll shoot it to you real quick. Basically, I'm planning to build the cabinet, put the wiring, put the solenoids, put the PC, and then you will take over the software. That is an idea that I have. As apparently on the Facebook forums, there's a lot of people that are looking for that. So I'm looking into getting that. So the CNC machine I'm probably gonna look to get. But I did hand cut the MDF board on this. It is MDF. So I spent 80 bucks on MDF. I bought a circular saw. I had a router already. So, you know, I cut the wood myself, which is a big deal because I didn't have to pay a company for it. Um, monitors alone, screens alone, you're looking at close to $1,000. No BS. The ViewSonic, big deal for me about the ViewSonic is that it is bezel-less, just besides the bottom, which I personally love the bottom because it gives a good distinguish and difference of the DMD. So this ViewSonic right here is about $215 alone. The Spectre 22 inch was like 80 bucks and the Samsung Playfield was about 500. I bought that at Costco. So uh, I probably would try an eight series Samsung. Um, I was gonna do QLED um, because I did wanna see if there was a difference on the blacks, um, but I'll probably do QLED on the next one. So again, you gotta think screens alone, you're looking at at least 900 bucks alone in screens. Um, when it came to Dofflinks and the toys and the Sane Smart and the power supplies, it wasn't that much, maybe like four or 500 bucks. That's like everything. Then like, it's really the time, you know, to, to, to wire. Uh, real pinball legs, the real analog plunger, the PC. I mean, again, PC, I'm, I always say in my videos, you get what you pay for. If you go cheap on the PC, which I do see people are trying to like, you know, go cheap with, it depends on what you want to do. You can't do a 4K Dell Optiplex, that's my personal opinion. Yes, you could run a 1650 or 1660 in a Dell Optiplex, but I wouldn't do that. Um, the PC alone, you're looking at about $900, just in PC parts. The M.2 SSD is a must. I personally always go 16 gigs of RAM, that to me is a must. Even with my build right now, there's one or two pup packs that I am experiencing stutter gray kind of lag um but i think that's just something where i might have to redownload the pup pack because all other pup packs run smooth um so again i haven't personally tested dell optiplex to compare i'm just the type where if you're going to spend the money on a v-pin make sure you're using good hardware there are people out there like i did the video of somebody sending me their v-pin um you know they use the cheap HP PC and you kind of saw the issues that I was having with that. He used some BS kind of regular desktop monitor. It changed the game. I mean, when it comes to, especially V-Pin, Hertz is a big deal. I personally do want to try a 1080p 120 Hertz build. Um, that would probably be a smaller build, maybe a 32 inch. So I'm waiting for somebody to kind of request that just to get the parts in to try that. But as of right now, I'm definitely gonna duplicate exactly what I did here. There's such a big hit for it. 
I love my table. I would definitely duplicate it again. I didn't do real pinball sides like the, the, the metal. They're cool, you could do it. I don't really see a big deal. I didn't do the lockdown bar. I'm very big on edge to edge. So my screen, I wanted it edge to edge. And the lockdown bar, yes, although it doesn't add too much, my width, it would have been a custom lockdown bar. And I said, you know what? It's my first V pin. Lockdown bars are cool. I just, I, I don't, not to knock it, but I'm not gonna put a lockdown bar unless somebody requests it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put a lockdown bar. Uh, but definitely the real pinball legs is a big deal. So all in all, I'm probably in on this build about, I would say 25 to 2600. That's set complete. I'm not counting like the hours of work that sat to download media. That's really just hardware alone. But keep in mind again, in my opinion, the specs in the PC is amazing. The screens, to me, the specs are amazing. The Dofflings, the toys, I have about 95% of the toys, minus the shaker motor and the blower fan um, and the adjustable LEDs. I do have surround sound force feedback, so that is in my price. Dayton audios aren't cheap. I think they were like 75 bucks each speaker. I might be wrong, it's been a while since I bought it. Don't flag me. Um, but I went basically with good spec stuff, especially for my first V pin. I did that because in all honesty, if I went cheap and I didn't like it, I would've been like, screw it, this isn't worth it. Like, I didn't want that. I wanted to make sure that I went all out and honestly, I'm glad I did because I love, I love my V-Pin. I play it every day. Every night I come down and the coolest thing, and I'll even do a boot up with you guys to show you, it takes like 30 seconds to boot, which is amazing. It's, 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 it's really great. I do love everything about it. Boots right into the system. I power it on. I could pick a table and I'm in it. It's, it's a great feeling kind of, it's a great feeling. <laughs> Now the big thing like with this is that I definitely had my wife, I had a, a couple of cousins over, they were playing it, no issues. They didn't like accidentally exit, they didn't shut down the system, they didn't fuck up the audio, like it was flawless, I would say, it's definitely flawless. The only way you could mess it up is if you're playing and you hit the exit button, which is too far to the left and too far down for you to even accidentally touch it. Um, but the big deal is basically, if I don't wanna play it anymore, I do have my power button in the front, one button and it shuts down. So let it do its thing. I basically have my white fans, that's it. The system's done. I'll probably put like a counter to it. That's it. You do hear a fan, that's the power supplies. Basically right now I can just come here and unplug it. I always unplug, I always turn off my systems when I'm not using them. I don't run them 24 seven. I just don't do that, I don't like doing that. So when I'm done playing, that's it. Unplug and I'll go to bed. Right now we'll boot it up. So while I do it, I'm gonna plug it in. I usually give it about maybe five seconds to make sure it all comes to life. Once I see like the screen's on, I'm gonna press the button. We'll do a quick timer. Three, two, one, boom. While this is booting up, um, I'll go through what I did. Uh, basically with the M.2 SSD, Windows boots up pretty quick. Using task manager or task scheduler, I do have a pinup system to launch after 30 seconds. Um, so it might take 45 seconds to a minute to fully boot. But again, basically one button press. I do have my fans in the back so I could see that the PC is on. I do kind of see windows here and all that. This right now is a desktop. I don't know why um, I don't put artwork on the desktop. I always keep it solid color. Um, from past experience, basically, my opinion, if you put artwork or any picture, it slows down windows. It might not be true, but that's what I've always kind of thought of. So again, I could set test manager, test scheduler to boot pin up quicker. I just like to make sure that everything kind of pre-boots, and there you go. So not too bad, that is it. I'm in, I can navigate and play, easy. Biggest thing, I can't stress it enough, when you do a V-pin, and I sent it to a guy on Facebook, uh, Ricky, shout out to Ricky, I said, yo, you need leaf switches for your flippers. It's a must. It's five bucks or like eight bucks for the leaf uh, switch thing for a regular arcade button. Get it, you'll thank me later. Uh, but basically, again, right now, that's it. System booted, I can go into VPX if I want, 
And again, in VPX, I have 351 tables. Pinup system is great. It does have basically a nice front end. I could see, like, for example, again, I was playing Roller Coaster Tycoon this week, so I could quickly load games and such. I'll bring you in close now because I'll go over pinup a little bit more um, as far as the artwork and stuff, really just to kind of show you. I think you can see it from there. But again, as far as what I was mentioning about some tables have a loading screen. If I launch Simpsons Pinball Party, you can see there is a loading video going on here. So again, audio, play field, loading, apron, DMD, backlast, and the full apron in game. That's it, like I'm in. To me, it's like, uh, that's it. Like you can't complain. And again, I do read some people are experiencing like the screen's flashing or my DMD doesn't boot right away. You just saw how it loaded. I could exit, I could go and into another table if I wanted. Like to me, the way this is, the way the system's running right now, I'm totally enjoying it. And I think it is running that way because of my specs. Could be wrong, yes, you could comment, I don't care, but I just like to talk, and I'm giving you my real personal opinion on things. Um, the Getaway just released Pup Pack. The Getaway is one Pup Pack example that the screen, for some reason, it, it's just stuttering. I don't know what it is, but it stutters. Um, I'll bring you in closer real quick. We'll take a look at a couple. All right, so I figure real quick, I'll show you the actual pinup system. This right now is if I just launched the table. So just to show you the emulators I have. So it's VPX. These are my playlists, I should say. So it's VPX, Pimble FX3, Pimble FX2, which I just have to get a playfield video for. Nobody really has one. Zachariah Pinball and Future Pinball. Also like the just added and stuff. So what's cool about this is I go into VPX and I do have a wheel specifically for pup packs. Um, really when you do open it, it'll go to like recently played. And as you can see, I do have all my tables. So I do have 351 tables in total, but I do like that I do have a pup pack only table. So if I go into that, I could press either the start button or launch ball. Granted, I don't have all pup packs because they just released a Metallica one. Uh, Iron Maiden and all that, but I'll go through it real quick. So Dirty Harry, the Getaway, which is one that I will launch to show you the visuals that I'm having an issue with. Um, Judge Dredd, The Lord of the Rings, that one's X-rated, <laughs> Sopranos, The Mario Bros, and Flintstone. So again, still have to download some pup packs, but at least there is a wheel just dedicated to pup packs alone. Now, if I go back and I could utilize basically my Magna saves to skip letters, or numbers, I should say. Um, I'm gonna real quickly show you what one of the duplicates look like. So I'm under C. I'll go to Dirty Harry. So you can see here there are two Dirty Harrys. The first one here is the real table. So Dirty Harry, the real ROM name. This one is the pup pack. And then I have the second one, no pup. So that's the only time you'll really see duplicates is the ones with pup pack and then the ones without a pup pack. Um, again, I am granted missing some pup packs like Family Guy, I think, and all that. But all in all, again, very clean. I'll, I'll launch a couple of the tables that do have pup packs to show you that they do work and stuff. So I could go back. I actually shouldn't go back. I have to go right there to the pup pack tables. Um, I'm gonna launch one that I could at least have fun with. Um, I'll do the Flintstones. Mario is very basic as far as pup packs. So I'm gonna launch just the Flintstones. And as you can see, I do have a loading video here, which is cool. So again, I'm gonna let the table load. And there you guys can see a pup pack is here. So again, as far as compared to the no pup on Flintstones, um, Playfield is the same, DMD is the same, the back apron is the same, it's just the back glass is different. So the no pup had the real Flintstones back glass. This one with the pup pack, it basically has the Flintstones as a back glass. So it's really cool because like there's audio. The lucky ones will get home early, catch up on their children. And as you can see, there's no stutter, it does play cool. I'm gonna put a coin in, put another coin in. So like you see here, insert coins. So again, actions that you do within the table, 
it goes to the puck packs up top. So you can see that like launch ball. I'll play for a little bit. Again, dot links. So as you can see, depending on things that I'm hitting, it's activating videos. I drain the ball, we might have a little video. Yeah, see? So it's cool. It's definitely cool. As you can see, I'm not experiencing any stutter whatsoever with the Flintstones. It's cool. It's, this table, specifically, it's not too distracting. It's pretty cool. Little add-on, ball saved. Cool, easy. I'll let the, the ball go. <laughs> It's cool, like I said, a lot of fun. And again, big thing, Flintstones 4K play field. So there's a specific ROM table downloaded for 4K. Um, awesome, I'm gonna exit. And I'm just gonna show you now the one that I'm having an issue with, which is the getaway. Um, I'm gonna launch it. My biggest thing with the getaway is just focus here on the back glass. I'll bump the volume. So, I, if this is just on replay in my head because I've, I've been playing with this a lot because I'm trying to understand what's up with the video. But you can see here on this puff pack, there is more stuff going on. So we do have the back glass, which when I put a coin in, it's gonna add a lot of overlays. This one does have a unique apron going on and you can see my DMD now is up here. So right now, not me playing it, it seems okay, but I'm gonna put a coin in. Color, uh, color DMD on this. So let's play it. Just keep your eye on the backlash. You can already see I am experiencing some stutter as you can see. Luckily, it doesn't affect my actual gameplay for the table, it's just like, it kind of sucks to see it slow down. And again, you guys saw how Flintstones is. Maybe there's video files that are like high def, I don't know, but I'll, I'll keep playing it. And in all honesty, the getaway table is fun. This is a fun table. Um, again, I wouldn't have played it. Now what's cool about this whole like supercharger thing is I have to actually press the launch ball button or I'm sorry for yeah see I pressed the launch ball button and it started it so the getaway table really had like a shifter knob instead of like a plunger and the launch ball is set for that stuff so you can see there see audio doesn't stutter it's just the actual video again I think it's just maybe I have to re-download the pup pack. So you shift gears now, I can press the launch ball, and I shift the gear. It's cool, I mean, but you kind of see now the little hiccups that I'm experiencing. I guess, I'm, again, I'm thinking it's just, it's just the puff pack. And we got multi-ball going on. <laughs> we do have multi-ball going on right now. <laughs> That's cool, like when it does the whole like track thing going on. There's a lot going on. Like <laughs> It's cool, it's cool. Listen, like I said, you just kind of see like I have this small kind of slowdown but luckily it's not affecting my actual table play. Some people might go with the Dell Optiplex. I don't know how it's gonna react for you, but right now it's just like, you know, it's small stutters, but again, some tables are distracting. Uh, Sopranos, for example, is very distracting, also because of the volume, but you, have to, you could play with the volume and edit it. But there's a good example of like pup packs. Is it worth getting pup packs? Is it worth downloading? It is. It's cool to have, it's cool to show off. It's just like, this table's amazing. I probably wouldn't show off the pup back to like my friends because they're like, Vic, why is it slow? Why is it slow? So just keep that in mind. So now again, all my VPX tables are tested 
I literally also, another thing you wanna make sure is that you wanna make sure your play field media matches your actual play field in game. Um, so there's a lot when it comes to media download. Um, FX3, it's easy, I have it set up. I don't have the, the back apron set. I'm still trying to figure out that, but FX3 is good, FX2 also. Um, FX2 only has 12 tables, so I do have, again, this whole football soccer league. And then again, we have Plants vs. Zombies. We have South Park, The Butter Show, and this Miss Splosion Mag. <laughs> now the real quick thing we're gonna do also with Zachariah, Zachariah Pinball has 114 tables. Um, these are kind of interesting because there's Black Belt, regular Black Belt, and then there's Black Belt 2018, and there's like Black Belt Retro. I haven't played this. Again, this is kind of like the tables with the bells and all that. I don't, I had the program, I just used it. So now real quick, I'm gonna go into Future Pinball, and what's cool about Future Pinball is that, um, again, I have 488 tables. I did not test all these. See like, for example, this 300, it, it's like a user created table. I, again, most of them are like the bells and dings and all that. You can see here like Air Aces Airport. Um, but the big thing at least with Future Pinball is that I do have a wheel that just says pin event. Just like how I have a pup pack, there is a pin event wheel. Again, Deadpool is an amazing table and then I do have the pin event table. So in total there's seven tables on this. I'm gonna launch Deadpool real quick just to show you what I mean by exactly why this table doesn't really work specifically for my table. Um, it's really about the DMD. The table works, it is awesome. It's just the way my Windows screens are set up, um, there is a hack where basically you're making the DMD, uh, the back glass bigger and it pushes the DMD down. Um, I have my screen set up left to right. So it's screen one, screen two, screen three. The Deadpool hack is you have screen two and three stacked up above. So it's screen one, screen two, screen three. So as you can see right now, my Deadpool, I want this here to be here, but the way my Windows screen is set up, it won't do that. And I am not touching my Windows screen setup for this one table. I'm hoping it does make a move to VPX. So again, as you can see, Deadpool. What's great also about this is that it is Dofflinks. Um, so my lights, my strobes and all that, it does work. Again, cool table. It's just, I do wish I can make this bigger. No future DMD does not move that as of right now for the timing of this video. So again, Dofflinks. Oh shit, <laughs> I had a brain fart. <laughs> One more time. It's very funny because like when you, when you launch the ball, he says Hadouken, it's very funny. Again, definitely a cool table. It's just, I do hope somebody makes a 4K VPX version of it because the table, like it is what it is. I feel like it could be much high depth, but um, again, it's super simple. Can't complain too much. I'm happy to have a Deadpool table. And again, Dawson, all working. So again, as you can see, like my apron screen now, there's nothing there. I don't have the full screen apron like I do for all my VPX tables. Um, but again, Future Pinball, I, I'm not wasting any more time on Future Pinball. Again, you could flame me in the comments you want all day. I just wish that DMD was movable and full screen. So you can see it's cool. I'm telling you, I'm, I, I have a feeling when it comes to VPX, if it does, it'll definitely be an amazing table on VPX. Huh. Awesome. If I exit out, one button exit, I'm back into pinup system, and boom. Easy, peasy, I love it. Super easy. Big thing real quick, I'm gonna go over with like FX2 and FX3. Um, I always play like the Family Guy table. I'll do like Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers. 
So the big thing that's kind of, I don't know if it happens to everybody's table. FX3 will launch. I get this kind of warning because of the internet. I just press the start button. I have it assigned to B. It asks if I want to start a new game, I'll press B. Here's the big thing. You're going to see it happen right now. Right now, nothing's happening. In about like 10 seconds, my dial flanks is going to activate and then like the beacons and the strobes are going to go off. I think it's just like my specific table, I guess. It's still connecting to Dofflinks, if you think of it like that. Um, and as you can see again, my apron, there you go, see? So if I started the table right away and I hit the flippers, nothing would happen. But after like 15 seconds, it connected to Dofflinks, now it's gonna work. Uh, I'll probably ask in the forums what I could do about the, if I could get an animated back apron for this, but it works, here we go. So again, now that that Dofflinks connected and you see that it connected, um, oh, I didn't even read that, oh, I guess there is a um, skill shot. I do have FX3 assigned to my analog plunger, so I could either hold down the launch button or I could hit the actual plunger itself. And again, Dofflinks, my force feedback as far as the flippers and everything is working. You can see my strobes work, my uh, underglow LEDs all working. It's definitely loads of fun. Now the big thing with Pinup system is that I'm able to launch FX3, FX2, Zachariah tables directly. Somebody asked me, they said, Nick, um, you know, uh, for example, with Bcon setup, we were showing off FX3 that you had to launch FX3 and then navigate FX3. He had it set up with a keyboard to pick a game. But luckily with Pinup, you can actually launch directly into the table. So if I wanted to exit, it's a one button exit, and I'm back into pinup system. That's honestly it, guys. I mean, that's my pin. Love everything about it. Vic VP, Game Case Arcades, my V pin. I'll still be downloading some pup packs today because of the Metallica pup pack, but V pin on, baby.